Hello guys, welcome back to Elan App. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you how to set up Payhip Store. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. So if you're not aware yet, Payhip is a great way for you to sell digital products. So that includes courses, coaching, and a lot more. Now to create your store, we first have to create our account. So you could go ahead and use the get started for free at the top right or get started for free at the center here. So let's go ahead and click on one of those buttons and from here you'll be able to basically create your account. Now in this case, let's go ahead and fill out the necessary details here which includes your name, last name, email address, and password. Now once you've clicked on create your account, it's going to say creating your store. So there's a few information that we need to provide here. So it's going to say tell us a little, a, a little about yourself. So your store name here. So we need to enter our store name here. For example, I want to say my store here and just click on continue. And from here, would what would you like you your store username be? So in this case, I want to use this one. Click on get started. And from here, it's going to redirect us to our dashboard. Now from here, currently we'll be able to see the completed section of our store setup. So there's a lot of things that we could do here and basically we need to set up. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to go to the store section at the top center of our screen. Now from here, if we want to start building your store and adding your products, first thing you need is you need to click on launch your store builder. Now in this case, we'll be redirected to the add first product section. So you won't be able to edit your site because you first have to add your first product. So let's go ahead and click on add first product. And from here, we'll, be ne or we'll need to provide the following information. So in this case, we need to select the product tab. So we have digital product, course, membership, physical product, bundle, or coaching service. Now in this case, I want to use digital product here. And from here, I need to provide additional details about this product. So in this case, we have the upload product file. Since this is a digital product, we need to upload the product itself. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on upload product file. And from here, I want to use this PDF here. Click on open. And from here, we have the choose title for your product. In this case, I want to say maybe my PDF here. And from here, we want to choose the price, which is going to be 5 USD. You can change the currency for it if you want to change this one, but I'm going to keep it. Now, also, I would suggest you to provide a cover image for this one. Like, for example, an example or a very uh, low quality photo of that specific product. So, for example, I want to click on upload product. And in here, I want to use this PNG here and click on open. So uh, as you can see, I would I actually added a sample across the product itself so that people will not be able to steal the product that I created. Now we also have the description section. So for example, this is a good product. And from here, we also have the visibility. So currently, this is going to be by default set to visible so everyone can see this product. But you also have the other visibility here, which is invisible or unlisted. So nobody except you can see this product if it's set to invisible. And enlisted, only people who know the direct link to this product can see it. Now, if you want to view the advanced options, you'll click on advanced option. And you have this products or the options for your product. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and just click on add product. And from here, once we added our product, we are now ready to edit our site itself. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we need to go to the store section again. And from here, we want to click on the section that says launch your store builder again. Now, from here, you should be redirected to the store builder itself since we already added our product. So in this case, let's just wait for it to load up. And as you can see, this is our basic site. So currently we have three sections here. So by default, our site has a header, the main body, as well as the footer. See, as you can see, this is the product that we just recently added. From here, if you want to edit specific sections, like for example, if you want to edit the header, make sure that you click on the header option here and you'll be redirected to the header section or uh, settings that you could change. Now for the header section, you can change the following. So which is store logo, navigation links, header settings, announcement bar, and elements. Now in this case, if you want to add a logo, just click on store logo here, choose a store logo, click on upload, 
and from here just choose the file that you want to use so in this case i maybe i want to use a photo here let's say i want to use this photo here just to give an example just click on open now from here we want to go ahead and choose this photo here and once you've cho chosen that click on choose this image and from here what you need to do is just click on save changes whenever you change or update anything here as you can see the image is now present now from here we can change the logo height if you want to change that you also have the store uh the store title itself uh, and from here you also have the option to use different logo for mobile devices if you want that option now in this case we can go ahead and just go back so let's go ahead and click on save changes and from here click on back now in this case you could go ahead and go to other sections as well so like for example you want to change navigation links from here you could go ahead and click on edit navigation links so depending on what setting you're accessing it's going to give you that specific or it's going to give you other options to change that so depending again depending on the section or element that you'll be changing here the settings that you'll be changing depends on it like for example we want to add a new link here so we have shop and contact so if you want to add another section or another link or another page you need to click on add link so that includes the name itself and the link on that specific page now in this case let's go ahead and exit this one and go back and from here let's just go back now in this case we also have the main section here so in this case we have collection about me and add section so collection is going to be the collection of items that we have right now so if you click on collection sections you can change a few things like for example adapt show price if you want to show your price go ahead number of columns on desktop so maybe if you want to increase this like to five go ahead and choose that now we also have the spacing here if you want to increase the spacing of the product itself you can go ahead and from here we have the mobile layout so number of columns on mobile so if you want to include one uh, product only or two products you could go ahead and choose that as well as the advanced settings here which includes the background the color scheme and the format itself now let, for now let's go ahead and discard changes here and we want to go back now if you want to add another section just click on add section and from here you'll be able to choose from the available sections that you can add Currently, we have the image with text, gallery, slideshow, image, text here, and basic list. Now, in this case, there is a lot of new sections that you could choose from here. And depending on what list or sorry, what section you add here, the settings or the capabilities of you customizing it depends on what type you choose here. But for now, let's just go back. And once you've edited all the settings that you have on your site here, you need to click on the publish button at the top right. And from here, it's going to publish your website. As you can see, publish, the changes you've made to your store have been published now. Now, if you want to view your store, just click on visit your store here. And from here, you should be able to see your store. And that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to Yelena app. Thank you for watching.